everyone, I'm Bonita from Pennies to Dollars and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about empty nesting decluttering. Decluttering is a feat all in itself when you have a family at home and children at home, but once they grow up and they leave, that is a whole different type of decluttering. And I have a video on Swedish death cleaning that I will link at the end, but this is the thought process that I'm in right now. And like I said, my decluttering videos, I share with you as I'm going through it, things I learn, things I realize, things that I have not thought about as I'm going through this process. And with me being 57, my last child moved out six years ago, six years ago. <laughs> and I have been decluttering for the past four years when I finally realized, hey, this stuff needs to go. Um, people are not coming back for what they've left. You have too much. There's just two of you here now. And I've been going through this process and I wanted to talk about some of the things that I've realized just in the last few months. I shared with you about changing out the new towels for the old mismatched towels. I had new towels, I hadn't used them, they'd been given to me a couple of times. I had two brand new sets and here I was still using mismatched towels and I still had enough towels in my cupboard for a family of eight that were mismatched. There was no reason for that. I don't, you know, you do things and then you just don't think about them again and you just leave it there. And it's always been like that for so many years that you just don't even think about doing anything in a different way once your kids leave. And we really need to think about doing things in a different way because our lives have changed. This is no longer a family of eight. This is no longer, um, a household with one bathroom and eight people trying to get into it, having to wait in line. Um, this is still an old farmhouse with one small closet under the stairwell. And because of that, we had lots of dressers, lots of extra beds. The kids all took a bed with them when they moved, a full-size bed. But I still had twin beds that I had stored from when they outgrew them. I still had things like that that we had just stuck out when we'd switched out the beds into the garage and then just never thought about it again. Back then when they were all moving out, uh, Facebook Marketplace and some of that stuff, it just wasn't a household term in my house because we didn't even have internet um, until like 2010, I think. So, you know, we didn't, we weren't exposed to that. We lived in the country. It wasn't that easy to get rid of things. But I think a lot of people go through this. They switch things out as their kids get older, they store them and then they just don't think about them again. Or they keep things the way they are and just don't think about it again. Because in my mind, I was like, well, they'll come home to visit but they won't all come home to visit at the same time and they won't all spend the night at the same time. I don't have that kind of space for six kids with spouses or significant others and grandchildren. And in my mind, I thought, well, I may need them when they come home to visit. I don't need anything of that magnitude. They usually come home about one at a time. If they come home more than one at a time, only one may stay here or the one and their significant other, but I won't get a whole household staying here at the same time. So I decluttered those towels. I put in the new ones. I left just, you know, a few extra and it was such a freeing feeling, which is silly, but I had so many towels in this cabinet, the door would never shut and the door shuts now because I don't need that many towels in there. Something we just got used to, there was that many towels, the door never shut, that's just the way it was. And other things I, I did realize I needed to get rid of. I did realize that I needed to get rid of extra blankets, sheets, pillow slips. I did realize that I didn't have that many beds left in the house because as the kids grew up, sometimes they were there was two to a room, sometimes there were three to a room. 
And then as they grew up, it became, you know, two to a room, one to a room, less beds, less sheets, less pillow slips, less blankets. But I never got rid of those extras. I just kept them. And sometimes people would come over and we'd have grandkids and we'd have extras that we would use. And I think that just reinforced my idea that I needed to keep that stuff. So I went through and I got rid of a lot of the blankets, the sheets, the towels, the pillow slips. Um, I gave them to the Humane Society because they will use those things. And then I, the kids all took a dresser with them, but of course we had extra dressers. And through this process, I started realizing, you know, with us not having closets and having extra dressers and the kids taking their stuff, if there's a space to fill, we as humans fill it. And then we don't ever think about it again. So people with closets fill it and don't really go back in those closets very often. People like me with extra dressers fill those dressers and don't go back and look in those dressers very often. So I had to think about all of those hidden areas that I had extra things stored because a lot of times it was stuff we didn't need anymore. And I went through because I, you know, as a parent with all these kids, I had mismatched socks, I had mismatched mittens, I had coats, I had hats, I had all of these things. And, you know, you always think, oh, well, the other one's going to show back up when you got six kids. It'll be under somebody's bed. It'll be somewhere. So I went through, I got rid of all of this stuff. I made use out of them and made them into draft stoppers. I would just like... Uh, stuff the socks and the mittens and make draft stoppers in my old drafty house and make some really cute things like that. And I went through and I started making use of what I had in a different way to declutter the space that I had. Other areas that I didn't really think about were, uh, we had so many balls and bikes and flat tires and flat balls softballs, uh, soccer balls, basketballs, all these things that we had from when the kids grew up. And I filled two huge bags of those and got rid of them. Um, I did keep some of the softballs in case the kids ever wanted to get together and play. We, we had enough for a ball team. We would get out and we would play softball when they were younger and even as they got older. Um, but, you know, I kept a few things like that. But everything else, I was like, I don't need this anymore. Those days are over. And sometimes realizing that, that those days are over, it's very emotional. And it's a process to tell yourself, hey, th those days are over, but it's okay. Because there's other days ahead. And there's still happy days ahead. There's happy days with grandchildren and get-togethers. There's happy days with your spouse, with traveling. There's other happy days ahead. It's just not the same. And you don't need those same things to move forward. Those are just weighing you down. So then I looked at the game cabinet or the game shelves. We have a humongous amount of games and the kids did, did take some with them. And then they left some here. And when they come home, they will play games. But a lot of times they will bring the games they want to play with them because they've acquired newer games since they've grown up and they want to play those. So a few of those games, I've just started giving them away. Uh, when the kids will come home and say, you know, we used to play this. I'm like, I still have it. Take it with you. And so I would let them just take the games with them that they wanted. I still have a huge variety of games. Some of the grandchildren have asked for some of the games. I'm like, take them. It's great. Um, so, you know, I, I just don't need all of that anymore. I don't need everything they could possibly think of when they visit and they don't visit as often as I would like. None of us get our kids home as often as we would like. They grow up, they get families of their own, they get busy, they have their own events, their own routines, their own schedules, their own lives. And so for us to think that we need to keep all of this stuff for the sporadic times that they visit is just really an almost an unhealthy 
idea for us to hang on to. It's a really sad idea for us to think that we need to hang on to every little thing they could possibly need for the sporadic times that they visit. Um, also, today I was like, I still, <laughs> even after the towel thing, I still have mismatched chipped dishes, saucers, bowls, plastic cups, things in my cabinet that I used primarily when the kids were younger. You know, you, you have a lot of plastic cups when the kids are younger. You don't want them to break something. Your dishes get chipped. Why replace them? Because you're just going to chip some more. You've got kids. Uh, you end up with a lot of mismatched plates because things get broken and you keep the ones that aren't broken. Um, lots of mugs, mugs that were from souvenirs, mugs that were from trips, um, mugs that were chipped again, holiday mugs, uh, so many things like that. And I've decluttered a lot of those, but today I really hit the dishes, saucers, and bowls. I had already hit like the mugs and some of those things, they seemed more obvious to me because maybe they belong to someone specifically, like a holiday mug. And I'd be like, do you want this back? If you don't, I'm going to get rid of it. Um, but when it came to the dishes and the bowls and the saucers, it never dawned on me until today. I don't have to have all of this stuff mismatched. I have a set that's matched. I don't have to worry about people breaking them. I don't, I mean, if they break, they break my, I still break stuff, but I'm, I'm just like, I had like three or four different types of plates. I, I don't need that much. I mean, I still had enough, like if I had a family of eight and I don't need that many dishes in the cabinet. So, I, I mean, I have good dishes for when they come over. I have, um, holiday dishes but my everyday dishes, I I had all of these mismatched kinds that I just, you know, I have way too many dishes. There's two people here. So um, it just dawned on me today that I really needed to go through that stuff and get rid of it. So that's what I've spent my morning doing is washing up a bunch of things to get rid of them. Um, washing up a bunch of things to put in my cabinets and really sitting here and thinking about what else is there in this house that I'm still stalking and living like there's eight people living here. If you've gone through this, could you please share in the comments things that you have gotten rid of as an empty nester that you have realized you didn't need anymore? It would be really helpful to me. I'm having to learn this on my own as I go along and sometimes I just feel really silly when it autumn when it finally dawns on me that I don't need those things. I don't need that much of those things. I don't need all these mismatched chipped things. I, I'm just floored that it's taken me this long to realize that. So I appreciate you listening to me today and if you have any tips or hints or any wisdom to share, please share that with me today and I hope to see you in the next video.